Hello, everyone. This is Gary. Um, we're going to pick up where we left off in our exploration of selections. This time, we're going to look at the lasso tools, and there are three of them. Well, the first one, the lasso tool, or as I call it, the freeform lasso tool. Um, you just draw with it, basically. And, you know, it creates, you draw a shape, whatever shape you draw, it'll make a selection out of it. And you can get crazy with your shape, and it will try and, you know, make a selection out of it. It can get pretty confusing, I suppose, but nonetheless, it just makes selections based on a freeform shape that you draw. And it acts like any other selection in that you can add to it, like so. I can create separate shapes, like so. Just like, you know, I'm adding to the selection. You can subtract from it. I can punch a hole in it. If I encircle this, watch what happens. It goes away, right? Because I'm subtracting from the selection now. I can grab a chunk out of it, grab a chunk out of it here. I can get rid of this selected area by encircling it, right? What happens if I encircle this hole here? And it makes a bigger hole because I'm punching a hole in it. This could be a little confusing. If you go to add to selection and encircle this hole, what do you think is going to happen now? It goes away, right? So a little confusing. I'm going to punch a hole in it and leave it there. And then, of course, we have the intersect. So if I make a shape and then now I've just got the intersection of the two. I don't find this tool all that useful. It it's, can be useful if I'm finishing up a very complex selection. Sometimes hand drawing is your only option, but not, not that often, really. Here's city.jpg, which hopefully you've downloaded, and you can open it and work along with me. Uh, what I want to do is select this front building. So I'm going to go Command Space Bar on the Mac. That would be Control Space Bar on the PC, and I'm going to drag my mouse over to zoom in. I want to select this building. If I use this freeform tool, it's just going to be a mess because I can't draw. So there's a much better tool for that. And it lives underneath the lasso tool and it's down at the bottom. The polygonal lasso tool, this tool is actually great. I'm going to zoom in a little farther. Okay, so I'm going to start up at this corner. I'm going to click and I'm just going to come over. I'm not dragging. I'm just moving my mouse over. Click. Again, I'm not dragging. I click and then just move the mouse. Click. And when I say drag, what I mean is holding down your mouse button and moving the mouse. That's dragging, okay? I'm not dragging. I'm just moving the mouse. Or actually, in my case, uh, a pen stylus, you know, because I have a tablet. But either way, I'm just moving. And you see how the tool is intelligent? It, it anticipates where I'm going. It'll move the frame for me, which is nice. So I'm going to come up here and come back inside the frame, come up to this corner, click. I'm just clicking. I don't mean to beat this to death, but um, I'm not dragging. I'm just clicking and then moving and then clicking. The point is when you're back at your starting point and you hover over it, a little circle will form in the lower right-hand corner of the polygonal lasso tool, and you can't see it for some bizarre reason. Um, you know, you don't know what I'm talking about. But basically, if you can't find that, you can just double-click. But either way, so I've now made my selection. I've closed off my shape. And let's zoom out. I'm going uh, Option or Alt Space Bar, and now we have this building selected. So I'm going to show you a real-world application of why you would want to do this. So let's go to Fill Selection, and I'm going to go Color, and I'm going to choose Red, I'm going to hit OK, and now down here I'm going to change the opacity to 25%, and when I hit OK, watch what happens. We have just changed the color of the building. If I go up here and go Deselect, or just simply Command or Control D, I drop the selection, and now we have a red building. Because I filled it with a 25% a opacity instead of 100% opacity, which would have made it solid red. So that's kind of cool. So you could take this, this image and select out each building and give them different colors to make it kind of an interesting graphic piece. I use the polygonal lasso tool a lot. It's very, very effective, and I highly recommend you get used to using it. All right, now um, I'm going to go back to this blank document. I'm going to grab the elliptical marquee tool, 
and I'm just going to fill it with black. I'm going to go, and I'm going to purposely make a mistake. I'm going to go fill selection, I'm going to use black, and I'm going to hit OK. But that doesn't look black, does it? Well, no, because I forgot to reset the opacity to 100%. So if I change the opacity to 100%, hit OK, now we have black. All right, so I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to grab the magnetic lasso tool, which sits in between the freeform and the polygonal lasso tool. And the whole point of this tool is that you click, and then you just move your mouse, and it automatically sets points. So it's kind of the opposite of the uh, polygonal lasso tool, where you have to click to set points. Here, you don't have to. You just I'm just moving my mouse. But you do have to be careful. It's looking for an edge. And granted, this is a very, very easy edge. It doesn't get any more, quote unquote, edgy than um, black to white. So it looks like it's doing an impressive job. But the real world is not made up of simple shapes that have really hard edges. So let's see how this works on our building. Uh, let's go into this building here. We want to we want to use the magnetic lasso tool to select this kind of light tan building. So I'll click to start off, and I'm going to come up. I'm really being careful too. See how it it's getting confused by those lines. I'm re I am being as careful as I can be, but as you can see, um, so now I'm going to come across. I'm going to set a point here because you can set points. Like you can with the, um, you know, the polygonal lasso tool. I'll set a point there. No, see, it's just not. It's just not. Oops, and I went too far anyway. I screwed up. I should have gone over this way. But all right, let me just try and finish this off. All right. Um, the point is, I don't find this tool to be all that accurate or useful. So I don't use it that much. You do have some adjustments up here in the options bar. If you increase a frequency, it'll set more points. If you increase a contrast, it'll try and do a better job of finding edges. And you'll get marginally better results. But quite frankly, I don't use it. So I would suggest playing with it yourself and seeing if you can get results that you can live with. All right, so basically that kind of concludes the, um, the lasso tools. Uh, next video, we're going to explore the last three the magic wand, the quick selection tool, and the selection brush tool. See you then.